Detective John Keller was a seasoned investigator known for his unwavering dedication to solving the most perplexing murder cases. He had developed a reputation for delving deep into the darkest recesses of the human mind. Determined to bring justice to the victims and closure to their grieving families. However, little did he know that the horrors he sought to uncover would ultimately lead him down a twisted path of his own making. One fateful day, a series of brutal murders rocked Keller's city. The crimes were heinous, the victims left mutilated and their bodies posed in grotesque displays of violence. The entire community was gripped by fear, and the pressure to solve the cases mounted with each passing day. Keller, fueled by a relentless drive to unravel the truth, threw himself into the investigation. Night after night, he meticulously combed through crime scene photos, interviewed witnesses, and analyzed every shred of evidence. The details of the murders were chilling, and the darkness that surrounded the cases seemed to seep into Keller's very soul. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Keller found himself becoming consumed by the relentless pursuit of the killer. Sleep became a luxury he couldn't afford, and his mind became a battleground of shadows and whispers. It was during one of these sleepless nights that he first heard the voice of faint whisper, like a distant echo, urging him to dig deeper, to uncover the truth hidden beneath the blood-soaked surface. At first, Keller dismissed the voice as mere exhaustion, a figment of his overworked imagination. But as the murders continued, and the voice persisted, it grew louder, more insistent, taking on a distinct personality of its own. The voice called itself the other, an entity within Keller's own mind that seemed to possess an uncanny knowledge of the murders, offering insights and leads that Keller himself could not have known. Reluctantly, Keller began to engage in conversations with the other, desperate to solve the cases that had consumed his life. The other became a constant presence, a companion in the dark recesses of his mind. They would argue, debate, and discuss the intricacies of the murders, each possessing a unique perspective and understanding of the crimes. During these dialogues, Keller started to uncover fragments of his own past that he had long repressed. Memories from his childhood began to resurface, revealing a miserable upbringing mocked by abuse, neglect, and profound trauma. The pieces of his shattered past slowly fit together, painting a vivid picture of the reasons behind his descent into darkness. As Keller delved deeper into his own psyche, he began to understand the connection between his miserable childhood and the unspeakable acts he was investigating. The anger, the pain, the torment he had endured had festered within him, finding an outlet in the form of these horrific murders. The revelation struck him like a lightning rod, shattering his perception of himself and the world around him. Haunted by the realization that he himself was the killer he had been pursuing, Keller was torn between conflicting emotions. Guilt and self-loathing threatened to consume him, yet a glimmer of understanding emerged from the depths of his torment. He came to recognize that his fractured mind had created the other as a means of coping with the unimaginable horrors he had endured. As the investigation continued, the lines between Keller and the other began to blur. Keller questioned his own sanity, struggling to reconcile the duality within him. The darkness that had once resided solely in the mind of a killer now stared back at him from the mirror. But Keller was not one to shy away from the truth, no matter how terrifying it might be. 
With a heavy heart and a mind teetering on the brink of madness, he made a decision that would forever alter the course of his life. He turned himself in, accepting that he would spend the rest of his days behind bars, paying the price for the lives he had taken. In the cold confines of a prison cell, Keller sought solace in the silence that enveloped him. He grappled with his own demons, searching for redemption amidst the wreckage of his life. It was there, within the confines of his self-imposed exile, that he realized the power of understanding and compassion. Through therapy and introspection, Keller came to understand that the scars of his past had shaped him in ways he could never have fathomed. The trauma he had endured had fractured his mind, creating a chasm between the tormented child he once was and the monster he had become. In confronting his own darkness, he found a glimmer of hope a chance to rebuild, to heal, and perhaps, one day, to make amends. Detective John Keller's story stands as a chilling reminder of the fragile line that separates good from evil, and the unimaginable depths to which the human psyche can descend. It serves as a cautionary tale, urging us to confront our own demons before they consume us, and to seek understanding and empathy in the face of unspeakable darkness. Story 2 Detective John Keller had faced his fair share of whores throughout his career, but nothing could have prepared him for the nightmare that awaited him in the depths of his latest case. It all began with a series of inexplicable murders that baffled both Keller and his colleagues. Each victim had been found with a wide grin coughed onto their face, the gruesome mark of a twisted killer. The crime scenes were adorned with crimson balloons, taunting symbols that hinted at a sinister presence lurking in the shadows. The sitter was gripped by fear as the body count rose, and Keller felt the weight of the investigation pressing down on him. As Keller delved deeper into the case, a peculiar pattern emerged. The murders seemed to follow the footsteps of an urban legend, the tale of the crazy clown. The legend spoke of a deranged performer who had met a tragic end, vowing vengeance from beyond the grave. Keller dismissed it as mere folklore, a distraction from the true perpetrator at hand. However, as the investigation progressed, Keller found himself haunted by visions of a maniacal clown with bloodshot eyes and a rictus grin. The figure would materialize in his nightmares, taunting him with cruel laughter and cryptic riddles. The line between reality and illusion blurred as Keller struggled to maintain his grip on sanity. Desperate for answers, Keller sought solace in his own relentless pursuit of the truth. He combed through old case files, digging into the history of the crazy clown legend. What he discovered chilled him to the bone a series of unsolved murders, eerily similar to the ones plaguing the city. It became apparent to Keller that the clown's dark presence was more than a legend, it was a force that had taken on a life of its own. The line between fiction and reality had been irrevocably blurred, and Keller found himself caught in a nightmarish dance with a killer who defied the boundaries of time and logic. The encounters with the crazy clown became more frequent, each encounter more harrowing than the last. The clown would appear at crime scenes, leaving behind cryptic messages that teased Keller's intellect and taunted his resolve. The laughter echoed in his mind, driving him to the brink of madness. As Keller raced against time to unravel the mystery, he discovered a link between the victims and a abandoned circus that had once thrived in the city. Determined to confront the source of the madness, Keller ventured into the dilapidated circus grounds, his heart pounding with a mix of fear and anticipation. Within the crumbling tents, 
he found himself ensnared in a nightmarish carnival of horrors. The air was thick with the scent of decay, and the echoes of laughter seemed to reverberate through the deserted rides. It was there, in the heart of the twisted circus, that Keller finally came face to face with the crazy clown. Their showdown was a clash of wills and wits, as Keller fought to outsmart the deranged killer. The clown's laughter echoed through the empty carnival, driving Keller to the edge of desperation. In a final act of defiance, Keller managed to overcome his fears and deliver a crushing blow to the clown's reign of terror. But as the laughter faded, Keller realized the true horror of the situation. The clown was not an external entity tormenting him, it was a manifestation of his own fractured psyche. The years of witnessing unspeakable acts of violence had taken their toll, creating a twisted alter ego that reveled in chaos and despair. Detective John Keller stood in the heart of the circus, shattered and broken. He had become the monster he had hunted, the embodiment of the darkness that lurked within. The realization threatened to consume him, but he knew he had to face the consequences of his own actions. Haunted by his sins, Keller turned himself in, accepting the fact that he would spend the rest of his life locked away. In his solitude, he sought solace in the hope that by acknowledging the darkness within, he could begin the arduous journey of redemption. The tale of Detective John Keller and the Crazy Clown serves as a chilling reminder of the thin line that separates good from evil, sanity from madness. It warns of the dangers of confronting our own demons, for in the depths of our souls, the true whores may lie. And while redemption may seem elusive, it is through the acknowledgement of our own darkness that we can hope to find a glimmer of light.